All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Big way. Let's try that again. Happy Tuesday. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Andrea Rosser did that on purpose, like cut me off just to laugh a little bit. So we're having a lot of fun this morning, and I think it's mainly me and everybody else is like, get on with it. So happy Tuesday. Let us know where you're tuning in from. If you're tuning in live over on Facebook, please, please, in the comments, let us know where you're tuning in from. We had some great messages yesterday from uh, South Africa and other parts around the world. We appreciate your comments. Um, our word for today, just kind of remind everybody, uh, tomorrow, uh, Myra Miles will be joining me tomorrow, and um, it, I, I'm excited about the word. I'll go ahead and tell you the word, okay? The word for tomorrow is glow, glow. So if y'all want to come here with light, lights around your neck or something like that, be great. Uh, but the word is glow. Excited about that. Today, the word is worth, worth. And, um, you know, me and Andrea were looking at this word and going back and forth a little bit. And there's some areas that really got me thinking. And so I want to dive into it where I don't take up much time. The definition of worth is you look at it and it's like the equivalent in volume to the sum of an item specified. And I went, oh my goodness, that's terrible. That's like a terrible definition. And then I looked at another and it was like the level at which someone or something deserves to be valued or rated. And so then it got my wheels to spin a little bit. And Teen Edwards actually in a quote said, know your worth. You must find the courage to leave the table if respect is no longer being served. And I got to thinking about that. I got to think about that quote. It kind of stuck with me. And I thought, you know, we all have worth. The good Lord put worth in each and every one of us as unique individuals that add value to this world. We have the ability to add major, major value to this world. And we all bring distinct differences. But there's times that we've got to know our self-worth and walk around with our shoulders back and our chest out and understand that, you know what? If, if I'm not being valued or my res if the respect is not there, not in an ego way, but if the things that I need are not there, then I'm going to excuse myself from this table because I know I'm going to go add bigger and better value to other things. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Have you ever had a profession or a job that, that it's like I'm not able to add the value that I believe I can add here, so I'm going to excuse myself from the table. I'm going to add value, but that's a hard thing to do. And you got to be confident to be able to do that. So that's what we're going to talk about today real quick. What does it mean to really know your self-worth? And, and here's to me, when you know your self-worth, you have a strong sense of putting value into people around you, into things around you. Like you know that you're adding value. You understand that you're worthy of love, you're worthy of care, you're worthy of trust, you're worthy of respect, you're worthy of compassion. When you're walking around with a self-worth about you, you know that all of those things you're worthy of. When you walk around with a sense of self-worth, you know that you have value, okay? As well as do we all, we all have value. But when you're walking around with a sense of self-worth, you know, you feel it, you know you're adding value. And here's what happens when you realize, man, I, I'm feeling it, you know? Have you ever been in the zone where you're feeling it? I've had times where I felt like I was adding value when I was a coach. Like I knew, 
I knew the kids came to me, right? When there was a challenge, when there was a problem, because they trusted me. And I, I walked around with that self-worth. And I look back on those moments and I go, what really happens when you realize your worth? Well, Number one, your relationships improve. You just have better relationships when you're in that when you're in that zone. Number two, you stop worrying about what everyone thinks, what everyone else is saying. The the cheap seat critics, right? Tracy Turnberg talked about the cheap seat critics that's always out there. You don't worry about them. Your self confidence improves when there's self-worth, when you know there's value that you're putting out. And you also understand I can change in a moment and pivot and go in a different direction if I choose and do whatever I want. You start to attract people. You start to become more attractive in that attraction process and people start coming to you when you realize how much you're worth, you feel in control of your life. Like you just feel like all my ducks are in a, I'm in control right now. And ultimately your happiness increases. You're just a happier human being when you are valuing yourself and you, and you and you understand the worth that you have and what you're putting out there. So Andrea, this was a, kind of a difficult word a little bit for me but at the same time a really good word because I've had both scenarios in my life I've had times in my life where I was I felt like I was dialed in and I was hammering and I knew my value and man everything seemed in harmony in that season of my life and then I've had times in my life where I felt like I was whoo a, a, a crazy mess I'd wake up in the morning and just wonder, okay, I'm, I, I got, I'm, I'm, my, what did they say? My, my, my tail's wagging the dog type feel mm. and everything's out of whack. And, and, and my, I don't think my worth at that time personally was being valued. And there was a lot of things off in my life. So I love looking at this word today. So I'm going to turn it to you. Hope I didn't well, confuse that- anybody. That was a great message, Coach. So thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. And I, of course, moved in a little bit of different direction. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to grow your worth. So a couple of quotes that I found was, as soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. And that's Johan Wolfgang Van Gogh. Um, Know your worth and keep raising the bar. And that was Haral Magda. And what I keep thinking about is Ashley Paulson. So she had put a post on Facebook or Instagram or something, and I actually have it up here, but you probably can't see it, but it said, love yourself and her comment. So thank you for this, Ashley. It said, the more you love yourself, the less nonsense you'll tolerate. And isn't that worth like the more you value yourself, the the less you're going to tolerate from the whole entire world. So how do you grow your worth? right? How do you get that to move up? How do you grow all of that? So first of all, we need to work on our self-esteem. You may not need to, but I may need to. So work on your self-esteem and confidence. And how do you do that? And I'm going to say, do something hard. Um, I never felt more confident. And I feel, I, I'm going to speak for Billy right here. My guess is Billy Grady is feeling pretty dang confident right now because he is challenging himself every day. And he's getting after it, right, with that marathon. And all of us, like so many of us with the Level Up community, we're tackling something hard and we're doing it. And that grows our confidence, that grows our self-esteem, that grows our worth. Two, make a difference. So go, you know, it could be something as small as having, you know, those little homeless bags. I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, like our church used to do, and we put a little toothpaste, a little toothbrush, some deodorant, maybe a granola bar, a couple bucks, a water bottle and hand it out to a couple people in your community, right? You made a difference in that person's life. Volunteer, right? Um, Mow your neighbor's yard. Just make a difference in somebody's life. Three, know your values and live by them. And I thought this was really interesting because we can, some of us can 
not really sit down and really define like, what are my values? What's important to me? And then we can get swayed by the values of the people around us. And that actually diminishes our personal self-worth. Um, do your best, even at the worst. So this is number four. I actually was just listening to this in a book the other day, but whatever your job is, whatever your role is, give it everything you got. So maybe my job is washing dishes, right? That, I do a lot of that. Well, I'm gonna make sure those dishes are clean. That sink's gonna be empty. My kitchen's gonna look as pretty as it can because I'm gonna do my best at even the worst of the worst jobs, right? So do your best even at the worst. Number five, accept yourself, warts and all. So we are all flawed. I know you guys are perfect. I am flawed, right? We all are a little bit flawed. We have those cracks in our armor. We have things that we would rather push under the rug and not look at ourselves. And we certainly don't want anybody else to see, but accept it, right? Accept all those things. Yes, we wanna improve, yeah, yeah, yeah but accept all the little quirks in our personalities and such, because that's who we are. And if we've made it this long, we're probably gonna keep those little quirks. Um, six, practice saying no. So every time, every single time, we say yes to something that we do not want, we're weakening our sense of self. We're saying that that other person matters more than us, right? We're saying yes to something we don't want, but we're saying no to us. So practice those no's as uncomfortable as they can be. And we don't have to be rude, just no thank you or no that's not for me or no I'm not able to help at this time. Doesn't feel good, right? We're gonna talk about why in a second. Doesn't necessarily feel good, but it's saying yes to, our, yes to ourselves. And then last, and this just goes right with those yeses that some of us are guilty of saying when we don't mean it, is Figure out if you're a people pleaser and you'll know, right? If you sit there and think about it for a second, you're gonna know. Um, I am a tried and true people pleaser. <laughs> 45 years in, I'm gonna accept myself and try and improve. Um, but if you are, then it's really hard to have a sense of self if we're putting it on everybody else, right? So I'm saying my identity is based on your opinion of me, right? So I'm gonna make sure you're happy. I'm gonna say yes to you but no to me. And the thing that we need to keep in mind is it's completely impossible to please everybody at once, right? So you need to make sure that you're pleasing yourself too. Make sure you're in the equation. So I thought that was a fun one, coach. I really enjoyed it. Maybe it's because it's a lesson that I possibly need. So thank you so much for having me on today. Love you guys. No, Andrea, thank you. And that was a great message. And, and it reminded me of just the simple acts that you can do as we end today. Um, I, I, I love joking around with Bill Saline, but years ago, Bill created a simple act. It took him like a few minutes to do at an event that we were at and he didn't know me, but it, it, it created a lasting impression. And so we go around every day with those little opportunities, like what you were saying, Andrea. So to, to add our worth to the world, and, and the worth he gave me at that time ended up trans, you know, I look up today and go, would I even be here today doing the profession I'm doing if he wouldn't have taken the time to add a little worth into my life? Um, so he knows what I'm talking about. But guys, we appreciate you. We love you. Have an amazing Tuesday. We'll see you back tomorrow with Coach Myra Miles. We're grateful for you. Thank you so much.